The decay of vegetation creates organic materials that can give a yellow or brown color to water. Color can also result from the presence of iron and manganese. Color may be expressed as either apparent or true. Apparent color is the color of water that is unfiltered. True color is the color of water from which suspended matter has been removed by filtration. This video will demonstrate how to properly analyze the true color of a water sample by the Platinum Cobalt Standard Method. This is a basic overview. You should always refer to the methods and procedures specifically provided for your equipment. It is also important to review the safety data sheets for the reagents that are used and to use any personal protective equipment that is recommended. Collect your sample in clean glass or plastic bottles and analyze as soon as possible for the best results. To preserve samples for later analysis, fill the bottle completely, tighten the cap, and refrigerate for up to 48 hours. Let the sample warm up to room temperature before analysis. We will be using a Hawk DR3900 spectrophotometer for our demonstration. Start the instrument and select the appropriate program. Information on sample cells, adapters, and light shields can be found in the method. To measure true color, both the blank and the sample waters need to be filtered first. Refer to method instructions or watch our video, How to Filter a Water Sample, for guidance. Prepare the blank. Rinse and fill the blank cell with filtered deionized water. Make sure to clean the outside of the cell before placing it in the instrument. Press zero on the instrument. Prepare the sample by rinsing and filling with the filtered water sample. Clean the outside of the sample cell and insert it into the instrument. Press read. This value will be your true color measurement. Record the results in platinum cobalt units. For low range color, under 15 platinum cobalt units, use the same cell to zero the blank and read the prepared sample. Make sure the cell is rinsed well and conditioned with the sample. For very low levels, a rectangular cell with a longer path length can also be used. See the method for details. More videos and helpful resources related to drinking water are available on our Drinking Water Resource Library. Visit our website to learn more about our training courses and pilot testing services.